I'm on a mission to solve After Effects' biggest problems. And by doing so, I invented a tool that you can download right now that's gonna keep you out of prison. Let me explain. So let's say you have a nice illustration like this. Maybe you drew it, or a close friend, or a colleague that you admire. You wanna add some nice three-dimensional texture to a two-dimensional image. So you take all your layers and you start pushing them back into Z space. But now there's an issue. Your scene no longer matches the original scene. You took this perfect, beautiful scene and you corrupted it. You made it bad and now you feel bad. So you try and scale the layers back up, but since their anchor points are all over the place, this just makes the problem worse. So then you get nervous, you decide nothing is worth this much pressure and you quit your job. Since you're no longer making any money, but you still have bills to pay, you turn to crime. You get arrested and now are facing life in prison. All because of a 3D scene in After Effects. But what if it doesn't have to be like that? What if there's another way? That's why I invented this new script called EZ3D in partnership with ChatGPT that's going to fix these problems and keep you out of prison. Let me show you how it works. Here's the scene I want to turn 3D. I'll open the script, select all layers and click rig. Now the order that you select the layers matters. You should select an order of foreground to background. This will turn all of your layers 3D and parent them to 3D null objects that are going to be used to control them. This works with any layers or compositions or text or 3D objects or footage or whatever. Then we look at these two fields. Z effect is how much distance in Z space gets applied between layers and scale effect is how much the layer should scale up to compensate for the added distance. To easily play around with these values, you can apply and reset, tweak the values, apply and reset again. If you want your 3D scene to look identical to the 2D scene, then you want an effect where you see no difference once it's applied. This combination should do it for my scene. To confirm that it works, we'll move our camera around. Looks like it's working. Now you animate this scene. A simple camera push through should be good. You show this to your friends, colleagues, and clients. They all say that it looks good. You get promoted at work. Your boss says, I didn't even know it was physically possible to animate 3D scenes this fast and this well. You are the first person ever to land at the center of the good, fast, cheap diagram. You become famous. You get a girlfriend. Things get serious. For the first time in your entire life, your parents are proud of you. Meanwhile, your friend from high school, who used to work at the same job as you, is now serving a life sentence in prison. You visit him in prison to see what went wrong. As you suspected, he never used EZ3D and is now paying the price. You go back home to your mansion and appreciate your life, your wife, and your 15 children. You are hit with the heavy realization about the different paths a life can take. So that's it. That's the script and that's how it works. But there are a few more buttons we can take a look at. Match plane is a shortcut that will align selected layers to the same plane. This is useful if you wanna use this effect but have to have a few layers working on the same plane. The order that you select your layers matters here. First select the layer which has the plane you want everything to move to, then select the others and click match plane. The next button remove will revert everything you've done, deleting the null objects and putting the layers back to their original position. If you need any more help, you can hover over each button to get a tool tip or click the question mark to see more. I created this script because I'm animating a series of illustrations and I wanna add a simple parallax zoom to them. This script saves time and since time is money, it's technically saving you money. And this is something that I'm starting to do a lot lately. I'm using my favorite unpaid intern, ChatGPT, to act like a weeb nerd and create scripts for me that solve a specific problem that I know all motion designers face. So if you wanna learn how to do this, then be sure to check out this video where I break down the process and drop a comment and let me know if there's any specific tools that you'd like to see made. And most importantly, if this video got you a girlfriend or kept you out of prison, then definitely like and subscribe so that I know. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.